Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. On behalf of Manila House, this is Bambina Olivares, the Director of Programming, welcoming members and non-members alike to today's online conversation with Casas Vivas in Portugal to talk about Casas Vivas, a new development in Portugal's beautiful and historic Douro Valley. If this is your first time to join us online, allow me to introduce Manila House. We are a private members club that opened in February 2017 with the aim of bringing together an assemblage of people from the business, creative, cultural, and intellectual communities who are drawn to each other by shared interest to continuously learn about art, culture, food, business, and politics, and from the diversity of their fellow members themselves. It is a community of curious, committed, and caring individuals, and it lives on beyond the physical confines of the club. We began our webinar series in May 2020, covering and encouraging discussion about a range of topical issues from business and investment to health and wellness and arts and culture. We have featured both local and international speakers and continue to broaden our reach among members and non-members alike. Our previous webinars are available for viewing on the Manila House YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. That said, for the non-members among us, you might like to consider membership to Manila House. We have a limited number of memberships still available please email membership at Manila House Inc. for more information. Please be informed that Manila House, in compliance with current allowable IATF and LGU capacities, which is currently at 100% for indoor dining, is open for dine-in to fully vaccinated members and their guests. And our takeaway service remains open to the public. Please call us on 0917-816-3685 to place your orders. And to our members who have yet to visit our newest space, Luna Lounge, please come by and see this beautiful room. Before we begin, a few ground rules. This event is being recorded and streamed and will be up on the Mila House YouTube channel in a day or two. Please use the chat box and the Q&A box for any questions and comments, and we'll get to your questions as we go along. Thank you. So in a world of growing instability, more and more people are starting to regard second passports and residencies as a good investment. Many countries are open to what is known as golden visa scheme, subject to an investment in property. Portugal's golden visa scheme is particularly accessible, and it's no wonder that it's so popular. Here to tell us more are the team behind the beautiful Casas Vivas development in the Douro Valley region in the north of Portugal. Allow me to introduce them to you. With us today is we have um, Roy Moraes, who is uh, the managing partner of Casas Vivas. Roy is a global executive with a background in finance, marketing, and operations. 25 years ago, he started his career in Kuta Margarita Park, which was built by his family. Later, he managed hotels in Europe and Africa. He holds a degree in business administration from UCP and obtained a postgraduate diploma in financial markets, instrument and institutions from Euronext, as well as a Master's in Management of Tourism Destinations from IBDT, UFP, and USC. He spent six years in Asia, based in Shanghai, where he advised hotel operators such as Hyatt, Como Hotels and Resorts, and Capella Hotels and Resorts. Also joining us is Claire Chung, who's a partner at Casas Vivas. Claire Chung has been in the luxury business for more than 20 years, working in art, fashion, and beauty for Christie's and net porte in China, which she launched. She is a polyglot who speaks five languages and has lived in New York, Hong Kong, London, Milan, Shanghai. First, is travel. The concept of resort Casas Vivas is also inspired by her travels around the world. And finally, joining us today is Joana, Joana de Oliveira Alves, who is a lawyer with the law firm Jose Pedro Aguiar Branco Abogados. She obtained her law degree from Coimbra University and went on to obtain a master's degree in forensic legal sciences. So let's just get down to business. I'm sure you're all dying to learn more and more about this beautiful um, development, which looks really exciting. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm sure Roy will correct me, but these are still places that are available to, for residential purposes, um, not just um, a business investment. But you'll correct me, I'm sure. So let me turn you over now to Roy, who will explain everything to you, followed by Claire and Joanna, who will get on to the little the legal nitty gritty of getting a golden visa to Portugal. Thank you. Ray. Yes. Uh, thank you, Bambina. Uh, good afternoon to, to all the, the participants on the webinar. 
Um, I, I am the, the, the managing partner of Casas Vivas, uh, a boutique countryside resort in a UNESCO World Heritage Site, uh, one of the most amazing wine regions in the world when we are in the heart of the, the region. Uh, and I, I'm just going to, this is a very, very brief introduction. Uh, Claire is going to talk uh, about the, the region, about the Porto and Douro. Um, uh, so on uh, more abstract terms, then I will come and then I will go specifically about the, the resort. Uh, and then Joanna, she's going to explain the step-by-step -step process of the Golden Visa. And, um, and uh, it, is, it is true what Bambina said that uh, we have units still available and the, the, the investment qualifies the investors for the Golden Visa. So please, Claire. Um, and uh, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, can you see my screen? I think I need you to do a screen share. Just a second, please. Let me get ready. Here we go. Can you see my screen? They can. Okay, great. Um, so welcome. Um, I'm super excited to to um, introduce the Dora Valley um, to you. Um, it is an uh, amazing re um, region. Um, second. Okay. It, it is. Okay, so. Okay, okay. okay, so it's fine. Okay. Um, it is it is a, an extraordinary region. As someone ha that's been in, in, in the luxury business um, my entire life and having traveled around the world, you know, one of the, 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 the definitions of, of luxury is rarity. And when um, I first discovered Doro, I was just stunned by the beauty of it. Um, it's, a, it's a UNESCO region um, and um, it is really one of the most um, uh, uh, breathtaking um, valleys for making wine. Um, I want to take you on the journey along the Douro and tell you about its history. Um, it is the Douro region actually um, has been making wine since Roman times, right? Um, and port wine is 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 the wine that's famous from this region. And what happened was that. Claire, I think you need to unmute yourself. Sorry. We lost you for a bit, Claire. Can you check your sound? Sorry, guys, just bear with us for a bit. We're just going to sort out the sound. Um, issues. And there's more than to get from Porto to 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 Sabrosa, where we are, is only one hour by car, right? And so historically, what happened was that um, uh, how port wine was invented was they would collect all the grapes in the region and float it down the river to Porto. And during the ship ride back to, to England, um, some of the wine would be un unstable. So they start putting brandy to stabilize the wine. And, and this is how port wine um, was, was invented. And in fact, in the regions, there are um, many of the oldest port wine families um, were coming from, from Scotland. And to this day, the Queen of England makes all her official toasts with um, port wines. From our neighbors. And this is the oldest demarcated wine region in the world, um, starting from 1756, um, meaning that's when it started regulating and, and um, um, everything that was done in the region and, and, and marked. So it has extraordinary history and it is um, part of the UNESCO zone, as you say. So how do we arrive in Douro uh, from Porto? We can ride by boat, right? Um, either there are these river cruises um, or there are also um, private yachts and sailing boats that, that go along the river. 
um, for a beautiful um, journey and you can um, stop along the way to have wine tasting. You can arrive by train, right? There's also a historic gourmet train that takes you from Porto um, to the heart of the uh, Dora Valley where we're located. And the best way is by car. You know, as I mentioned, it is um, uh, only one hour away from Porto. Um, Porto has, um, you know, connected to, to, to the rest of Europe. It had six daily flights to London. And this um, road along the Douro River was voted the best drive in the world. And um, as we know, we're all, uh, and one the, the meaning of Douro is of gold. Right. So the river is called Dora River. It's the Golden River. And this is the golden region um, of wine. And um, it is really very, very special. All the terraces that you see are, are basically man-made. Right. And that's what makes it so, so stunning. Um, near Casas Vivas um, is, is this. So these would be the amazing wineries and regions that you would be visiting and the guests of the, the hotel will be visiting. Um, Quinta del Portal in Sabrosa um, with a architecture that is from a Pisker Prize winning architect. It's only literally um, down the hill and, and, and you know, about eight minute drive away. Um, the Musée de Foscoa, um, stunning contemporary architecture by the architect Camilo Ribello. In fact, he is our, our architect as well uh, from Casas Vivas. Um, this is in further east, closer to the Spanish border. It is 40 minute drive from um, Casas Vivas. And this is um, prehistoric rock um, drawings, you know. So this is a ancient area that's been ha inhabited by by man. The rock draw drawings date from you know 15,000 BC, and um, it is a really stunning region and and and, and, and a wonderful tourist attraction. Um, we have Six Senses, which is um, one of the luxury hotels in the region. Um, this is located in Regua, about um, uh, 30 minutes away. Right. And one of the very interesting things is this is the top performing um, six senses um, in all the group. And why is that? It's because there's not not enough luxury accommodations in Doro. Right. And I think that's really, really very, very key to what we're trying to do, because we saw a need to have something design contemporary somewhere, something that would, you know, um, where you can really with the property designed to enjoy the stunning views of the region. And um, you have a lot of old farmhouses that have been converted. So nothing that re, you know, kind of has that modern taste. And I think that makes our development extremely um, um, very, very special. And, um, you know, there's a huge amount of, of, of um, uh, uh, guests now coming from all over the region. Six Census is constantly sold out. So I think on the premium and luxury travel it is definitely a destination. And um, we're confident that, um, you know, uh, we're gonna be one of the preferred stays in Doro in the future. One of my favorite vineyards as well is Quinta no uh, Nova. Uh, the Signora do Carmo. It's a lovely chapel on the property as well with stunning views. And this is in Pinal, which is only 15 minutes away. Um, these are your other neighbors, um, some of our favorite um, quintas to visit. So in, in a nutshell, we are within five to 20 minutes of the best vineyards for tourism. Right. This is Quinta de Crasto with award winning also um, uh, it's incredible property and wine um, and, and in restaurants. Um, Quinta Venezuela as well, um, which is only 20 minutes away. And this is um, a vintage house with a beautiful view um, right along Pinal. Um, and what is really very exciting is that um, the marina that you see here is where all the boat trips leave from for the private boats and the private tours, right? And Pinal is only a 15 minute drive from and the property. Where we'll have the boat. Yeah, and we'll have also our, our, our own boat, um, uh, private boat for our guests there. Um, and you can see 
um, some of the 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 um, vineyard tours. Um, they have amazing design and contemporary design um, within the, the the property of housing the wines as well. So it's really an amazing, delightful region to to um, uh, to stay in. And of course, this is Casas Vivas, right? This is the view from the lower end of the property. Um, it, we have, um, uh, what I love about, about um, um, this piece of land that we're so um, very, very lucky to, to, to find. Um, it, is, it is in the absolute center of the terroir of the most um, award-winning wines of the regions. Our neighbors in front is the Symington family, uh, which is an old Scottish family. Um, in back is also the Symington family, the, uh, the son that bought a, a palace that he's restoring. So we are with the top winemakers in, um, uh, of the region and indeed some of the top winemaking fan families of um, of the world. And um, the way that the property is laid out, we will show later that everyone has a view and everyone has this stunning, you know, connection to nature. And this is Provisend, right? So on the far left, this is the back view of the village. Um, it is one of the official um, six wine villages um, uh, of the Douro region. So it's historic. It is the wall, the best preserved. Um, this was, this is a village that's existed since Roman times. And in fact, um, um, there is a Roman temple of, of Diana close by. And um, it was a very wealthy region due to, to the agriculture. This is why even though it's a village, we see here palaces. Right. Um, and so this is really what I love. You know, I'm, I've always lived in big cities and I'm a city girl. But what I love about this is that from our property, you exit and um, you go up the, the hill um, on this beautiful cobblestone um, walk. And within literally two minutes, you are in the center of the little village. Right. And this is where the center of the village is. So you can have a coffee, you can have, you know, there's little shops there. And so your view is as, as if you're in the middle of nowhere, but you're one hour from Porto and then literally a few minutes walk from the center of the village. So that makes it really very, very cozy and a lot of flexibility. And one of the great um, historical facts I wanted to share with you is that um, here we have on the lower left, the House of Magellan, which is um, in, in, which is basically 10 minutes away. Um, and Magellan, of course, you know, is is the uh, the first person to to sail around the world. The right? first Western to reach Philippines. Yes, and mm -hmm. the, and the first uh, Westerner to to land in the Philippines. And so um, I, I think that the the people in this region are are wonderful. They're very warm. They're very, very, very welcoming. You like the Filipinos. I've been to Philippines many times. And um, it is just a, a, a delight just to, 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 to be here. And in the region, in terms of tourism, then, um, there are amazing things to do for the entire family. Um, there is biking and hiking and trekking along the along the, the vineyard paths outside <coughs> of the property where actually is uh, we, there is a path where is the, it's about a one and a half hour downhill walk into Pinal crossing um, the vineyards. It's really a stunning view. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's very, very convenient because it's right outside um, um, the front gate. And there's bird watching, wildlife conservation. Um, there's a, a canoeing um, also on the Dora River. Um, of course, um, endless wine tastings. Um, organic farming, you can also participate in the harvest, which runs sometimes between um, um, August to, to um, September, October. Um, and one of the great things as, as a hotel on this property as well is that um, basically it's almost as if all year round is high season, right? Um, because you have, um, uh, you have basically the, the wine, wine harvest season, which is September, again, August, September, October. And so that becomes high season, as well as Christmas is high season. 
springtime and going into the summer. So um, this is why there's always um, actually not enough rooms because it's a UNESCO zone uh, and indeed not enough, um, let's say, premium uh, accommodations, right? Um, there's river boating and picnics. Um, there's sailplane flying, and of course, I mentioned the Museum Wildlife of Observation. Museum of Foscoa, um, architectural sites and prehistoric sites um, to visit. Um, and um, yeah, the kids love that type of activity as well. Um, it's wonderful. So um, it's just uh, a very rich region, right? Now I'm going to go um, and talk about Casas Vivas and, and why we named it Casas Vivas, right? Um, the concept is really about um, living. Vivas means living, right? It's a living house. And what we want to do is bring in um, basically a local authentic experience. We wanted to bring in um, local designers. Sustainability is very, very important. And we will speak more about that later, right? And then each um, um, house uh, was designed to be immersed in nature, right? In harmony with the lands, right? In visiting this region is one of the things that we were struck um, when we used to travel there all the time ourselves as, 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 as guests is we couldn't find any hotel property where you, it was an open space where you had the light come through, where you can see the, the 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 beautiful scenery, right? There were all older farmhouses, very, very dark inside. So the concept was really to build something new where you can just really enjoy the views, right? And um, and and that's super, super um, um, exciting because this is really uh, world-class um, is to have personalization and personalized services, um, which doesn't exist in other um, hotels. Um, and there are very, very few luxury and premium accommodations in the region. Um, and, and so it is really something that was built um, with our kind of experience of, of, of traveling around the world and bringing that kind of world-class the uh, hospitality services and experiences um, um, into Dora, right? And with that, I'll leave it to Rui to talk about the property. Yes, thank you, Claire. <clears throat> um, I hope that you have enjoyed the, the journey to Doro. Um, that is, is a, an amazing place. And uh, uh, I like to emphasize that is uh, uh, Douro is in the north of Portugal. Um, you people in Philippines, they know well about the, um, the, 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 the Christianity here. And then Douro is exactly in the middle between um, Fatima and Santiago Compostela. And actually there's a, a, a St. James Way, one of the, the, the ways that is crossing the Douro region. So it's uh, another um, experience that can be then uh, done there. Um, and the, regarding the, the, the Casas Vivas, so we, we, we picked uh, this property that is in, a, in the heart of the, the wine region. We have the, the best neighbors, we have the best vineyards are surrounding us. We are in, in 500 meters of altitude, so we are uh, on a fresher area, area. We are not closing by the river, where is the, the, um, the most uh, hot place in, in the region in the summertime is, 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 getting, is, is hot, but we are, uh, in, as I said, in a higher altitude, so it's fresher. Uh, the property is facing south, so we have sun from sunset to sunrise. Um, and um, um, the, it is a, the property has a great terroir. It's, uh, we are producing their olive oil already. Uh, that is excellent. Um, and uh, it is uh, certified for organic production. And uh, we will have there, besides olive oil, we'll have their vegetables, fruits, uh, native fruits from the region, uh, fruits, uh, sorry, vegetables, aromatic herbs and herbal teas that will supply the, the, the def and be outlets that will have in the, in the area. Uh, it, it, for your it, for your reference, it's uh, really interesting that we even have there a, a, a plant herbal tea that is burning well there. That is called it's the Saint John Saint John Wort, that is antidepressive. So it's you know even the the local atmosphere can give this part of the um, to of relaxation and antidepressant mood. Um, then there's also. Um, <clears throat> 
we uh, we have then the property organized the 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 the, the master plan also with the, the feedback from a feng shui master mm -hmm. that uh, came uh, on purpose travel on purpose to, to visit pro the property and um, uh, so the the point of water that we have uh, there it's according to the the the, the is 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 um, uh, suggestion um uh, going back to the to the property you know talking about the the what we will have there uh, so it's we'll have only uh, nine accommodation units uh with very generous areas uh, and then we'll have uh, uh, which that will be split in three buildings um, with uh, two buildings with four units each and one building with one unit. And then there will be the main building with the public areas um, where we'll have uh, F five F and B outlets. We'll have uh, two terraces. We'll have a chef's table, a bar and lounge, a restaurant, and then a pool bar. Uh, so, you know, this region, it's uh, great, uh, not only for wines, but also for uh, oranges, dried fruits, um, and all kinds of vegetables. It's, it's a really uh, fertile soil that you can produce everything there. Uh, so we're going to take uh, uh, to use that. And then we'll, we'll, that's why we are calling it living houses, because of the, the, the buildings where the accommodation units are, are within the farm. So it will be a kind of a concept of a, a garden farm that will be, look, the, the, the idea is it will be kind of wild, but it won't be wild because we'll have a lot of uh, fruit trees and uh, vegetables, etc. We'll have a small greenhouse there to produce these more sensitive plants. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, along with this is also the sustainability that um, here in Europe, uh, we have to comply more and more with the, the sustainability and we'll have um, a lot of uh, uh, important details that uh, we, we are implementing that is from, uh, I've, I've wrote here. So we'll have solar energy, I mean, uh, photovoltaic panels that will supply the, the heating bombs. Then we'll have a, a geothermal energy system that is a, a much more sustainable way of uh, acclimatization to the to the buildings that uh, will dig uh, uh, holes in like 100 meter holes in the to the to the ground that will bring the the fresh from the ground and then to to, to the buildings. Uh, we'll have a, a bio pool. Um, we'll have the, the organic farm, um, and we will try to be as sustainable as possible on the construction. Um, <clears throat> and uh, besides that, um, we uh, we are going to work with the uh, um, top luxury brands in the uh, brands, sorry, in the that are part of the hospitality world. Uh, We'll, we'll have the, the best mattresses in the world. That is a Swedish brand that is producing here in Portugal. It's two factories here in Portugal for more than 40 years. So we, are, we, we will have everything local as much as possible. Uh, I think we'll be almost 100% because one of the great advantages of Portugal as a top tourist destination is not only the, 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 the food and the landscapes, etc., cetera, but... Uh, Everything that is uh, needed for a luxury hotel is produced in Portugal. All the top big brands in the world, most luxurious brands in the world, they produce here. So that's why we are sustainable in that way, because we are not going to, to, to buy uh, um, products coming from you know, United States or China or whatever, you know. So it's uh, as local as, uh, as as possible. I think more local than, than what we'll be doing it won't be possible. Um, and um, uh, I, I can maybe share here a, a document that uh, uh, I have then uh, I have prepared, so just one second, uh, to show some details. Just <clears throat> uh, one second. Uh, 
screen. Okay, so uh, the so the, the I can show you the bit of the property. So these are the the three buildings where we'll have the combustion units. We have four units here. This is one, only one uh, combustion unit is a villa uh, with a private pool. Um, and then there's more four units here. And at the end, it's the building with the common uh, public areas slash public areas. Um, uh, this is the, that one, this is the, the east view. Here is the west view. This, this is the, the road basically uh, goes into a dirt road in 200 meters. So it's kind of stops. You don't have any traffic here. It's totally quiet. And the, this ruin here is the pre-existence that we'll have there. We'll have the, the terrace in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the ground floor and the terrace here inside the ruin. And then at the same floor, we'll have a chef's table where the kitchen is. Uh, uh, then on the upper floor will be the bar and lounge and the, the lobby. Uh, then on the second floor will be the restaurant. We'll have another terrace here in, in this area. Uh, we'll have a pool bar here in the, in the where the pool is. And then uh, we have the, 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 the farm and the commission units on the east side. Um, yeah, so this is one of the, the, the this is uh, exactly the, the views that we'll have from the property. Um, and we will have a world-class restaurant there. We will have something from like a, a wood exterior uh, oven fire uh, uh, that for the, you know, for the, 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 the winter months, then we'll, uh, we'll have uh, um, um, uh, uh, restaurants that will work with uh, the Portuguese cuisine and also uh, integrating the international cuisine with the, uh, with the Portuguese and trying to do something uh, that with working with the best ingredients. Um, then <clears throat> I, it's Claire already mentioned, but we'll have a lot of experience to entertain the guests from uh active tourism uh, i have done all this all my life so you know i i'm we are going to offer the the best uh, experience in this part then we'll have we can spot wolves we can spot the royal eagle we can do stand up paddle river cruising uh, sail plane flying um, uh, then doing the wine tastings it's uh, a lot to do there um uh, and then this is the the, the plant uh, the aerial view where we'll have here that this is the public with the the the, the building with the, the public areas uh, the pool with the pool bar and then this is the three accommodation units or the three uh, buildings with accommodation units um, these are some images of the buildings but these are the plants that we'll have uh, we'll have. Um, so mostly the, the, the commission units have an area of uh, around 80 square meters each. Um, and uh, <coughs> so we are doing, uh, this is the, 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 the grounded house. Uh, and then this is the sitting house with the plants. Um, with uh, This is uh, the entrance is from the back. We'll have an entrance courtyard. Uh, with the exterior shower and a small garden, then it will be with the uh, open air. Uh, then the entrance to, to the room with uh, the bathroom on both sides, and then uh, will be a kind of a loft on the with the mixing the living area with the room, uh, and then the the, the big deck uh, you know, with the best views. Um, <clears throat> and we we have this uh, unit starting in with 67 square meters. We are offering a model that is um, uh, a, a kind of a selling list back. Uh, the investors will get uh, uh, will its freehold. They will own the, the, that parcel of property or the, 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 the loft, uh, fully furnished and equipped. And then they will be uh, allowed to spend uh, 14 nights per year at, uh, at, uh, at the loft. 
um, and the, uh, the the investment is duly qualified for the golden visa, as uh, soon uh, Joana will explain about it. Um, then this is the the villa. This is a uh, almost 200 square meters with a private pool that is not here designed because it's just stopped to put it uh, recently, um, <clears throat> with a, a great uh, deck here, a porch that for you know offers school lunches and dinners. Uh, one side is the are the the private areas with the rooms and the bathrooms, and then here is the the, the open space of with the kitchen and living area. Um, this is the plant, uh, and then we have this different model that is in the villa. We offer three nights of stay uh, per year. Um, it is 121 square meters, uh, duly qualified for the Ghana visa uh, with this price here. Um, <clears throat> then the timeline of the project is uh, the, the project is licensed. We'll start the construction in this November. Um, then we'll take between 12 to 14 months the, the, the construction to finish, uh, two or three months more to uh, for the interiors. Um, and then the, we are expecting to open in uh, uh, early spring of 2024. Um, we we are working with the best partners in the you know in the in the business. We are working with the uh, uh, architecture. It's you no know, Porto is a world class school of architecture with two Pritzker prizes uh, uh, from Port School of Architecture and. Uh, Camilo is a younger uh, uh, is a younger architect than the Pritzers. He's close to one of the Pritzers, and uh, he's an artist. And uh, uh, he have done the 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 the, the Coa Museum, the Rock Art Museum that Claire already mentioned before. Then uh, Mima Housing. Uh, so Camilo, we signed the project and did the the public areas building, and then Mima Housing. It's they designed the. The accommodation buildings and MIMA, they won the Art Daily Award in 2011 and they, they have done the house for Philip Stark here in, 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 in Comport in, in Portugal. Um, so a lot of experience in residential. Uh, then the interior design will be Joana Astolfi, that um, she's a very creative uh, Portuguese interior designer that, uh, uh, you know, she's, uh, she works for Hermes. Uh, she has done uh, some of the best restaurants and the countryside resorts here in Portugal or work with. Um, then we'll have Bangan Olufsen, uh, that is the Sun and Video that uh, uh, Claire is a board member and Bangan Olufsen in Denmark. So we'll have a special collaboration with Bangan Olufsen uh, for the rooms and for the public areas. Uh, Luxiana are the, the mattresses that I was mentioning, best uh, mattresses in the world that they supply the Burj Al Arab in, in Saudi Arabia, in sorry, in Dubai, or and then many other uh, hotels, some of the best uh, iconic hotels in the world. It is they have the Luxiana mattresses that are uh, made in Portugal. Uh, and then um, José Pedro Aguiar Branc, that is the law firm that uh, we work with. Uh, that Joanne is now here. The, um, uh, the she's following the all the the process since the beginning of Casas Vivas, so uh, she she knows everything about it. And now I'm going to pass the to her to to explain a bit the 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 investment process along with the golden visa process. Thank you very much. Hello, thank you all for your participation. Joanna, we... Yes? We are... You are on mute, Joanna. You are on mute. Uh, no. Can you hear me? No, no I think I'm... you're fine now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. Sorry. Uh, no problem. Thank you all for your participation. My name is Joanna de Oliveira Alves. I'm a lawyer with experience in real estate and civil law. And in the past four years, I've been assisting clients through the golden visa process. Nowadays, I am an associate lawyer at José Pedro Aguiar Branco, JPAB Associates. I have here a brief presentation to guide you through the steps of the golden visa, as well as um, how the, the uh, living houses qualifies for the golden visa. So let me just show you. Oh. 
So at uh, JPAB, we are a medium law firm with fortune lawyers, and we have uh, offices in Lisbon and Porto. We work in very different type of areas, um, and we represent the different profiles of clients uh, from particular clients to national entities that give us a different range of areas to work on. We have here some recognition and awards that have been assisted to us. And I will just speak about the Golden Visa application. So the Golden Visa is a process that is uh, enforced in Portugal since 20, uh, 2011. Sorry and is commonly known as the Golden Visa. This allows the third country national to have a temporary residency in Portugal. So to obtain this temporary residency, we can uh, choose from a different type of investment. Um, since acquire a property, acquire a property to, to uh, work on rehabilitation proper, uh, rehabilitation works, to have uh, to create a company to set up a few jobs to um, to contribute to arts and culture, but here I will just uh, approach the investment through the acquisition of a real estate, namely the purchase of a real estate property with a value to or equal to or above five hundred thousand euros. So. In this type of investment, where you acquire a property, uh, there can be a reduction of 20% of the amount if the property is located in this blue or red locals in the Portuguese. These are territories with less than 100 habitants per square kilometer. So, Sabrosa is located more or less in this area and qualifies for this reduction. So in the type of the investment uh, of acquisition of a real estate, the minimum amount required is 400,000 euros. So to acquire the property, first of all, I will just give you a brief explain how the Casas Vivas, living houses, established in legal terms. So, Casas Vivas is a tourist enterprise established under plural ownership that is set forth in the consultative title. The consultative title is a legal document that explains how the, the building and how the enterprise is constituted, is how it, how it is composed. It has the description of the building and a few annexes that I will refer later. The investor acquires an independent unit of the tourist enterprise for housing for tourism purposes, and it becomes the owner of the property. As the owner, he has the right to use, enjoy, and dispose of the independent unit. The owner and also the user of the tourist enterprise, as well as the, the, the independent unit, he has the right to use the facilities, and the equipment for common use and the services for the common use of the tourist enterprise, as referred by Rui, the pool, the chef's table, and any other facilities that has been set forth in the investment. Casas Vivas has also an administration regulation that governs the overall management, conserv conservation, use, and operation of the tourist enterprise specifically the facilities and the equipment for common use and the services for the common use of the tourist enterprise. This, this document also uh, establish what the owner can do or cannot do and the obligations of the operator. The operator is the entity that admin, administrates the, um, the Casas Vivas. So this document will establish the obligations of both parties. By legal requirement, the accumulation units in tourist enterprise must, must be permanently under, <clears throat> under a tourist operation regime, which means that they mean that they must be continued operation 
to terrorists. So they must be always <coughs> into terrorist operations. With the purchase of the property, the investment assigns to the operator the use of the accumulation units through the tourism operation assignment contract. This contract, through this contract, the owner grants to the operation to the operator on an exclusive basis the operation of the accommodation units for tourist accommodation, namely with a focus on renting it to tourist, tur tourists. So as I said, this must be the focus of the contract. On the other hand, the operator undertakes to pay the investor an annual income calculated by reference to the results obtained, as referred by rule, the yield referred. So, once the property selected by the investor, it can reserve, reserve it uh, against the payment of a fee. This means that once you reserve the property, it, it will be taken out of the market. This, this reservation will set forth the, the, period, the timeline to complete the acquisition of the property. The first step is to discuss the promissory contract of purchase and sale of the unit. This will establish the timeline and the price and the method of the payment of the price. This title will also be used to present to the, the, the immigration office, the Portuguese authorities that uh, are in charge of the golden visa process. Once the tourism enterprise is concluded, once the works are concluded and the license are issued, we will be in place to sign the final deed of purchase and sale. <coughs> so the advantage of the golden visa. The first of all is that is a waiver for uh, there is a visa waiver for entering in Portugal and to visa free through the, the countries of the Schengen area. So this with the golden visa, it allows for national country to uh, fly through the Schengen area without needing a visa. There are the possibility of permanent... Joana, yes, yes. Uh, we have here a question. Uh, I don't know if you, yes. if you read, read it. Uh, so it says, since Casa Vivas is still to be constructed, when do we get the golden visa? When we fully pay 400,000 euros, even if the construction is not yet completed, or when the construction is finished? Uh, well, like, uh, uh, I will explain that later, but I can, yes. I can now just... Um, to, uh, in, in the, to proceed with the golden visa, to uh, submit the process to the... Let me just see if... He's in this next slide. Yes, I will just show it here. So to proceed with the investment and to, to, to do the online submission of the application, the, the investor needs to complete the, um, the investment, which means to pay the total amount of the investment. So has the, the, the final deed and the, the, the enterprise will only be concluded in 2024, there is no problem because with the promissory contract, the investor can pay the price and submit this document to the immigration office in order to, to prove that the investment is completed. And it's the normal procedure, okay? So once the investment is completed, we do the online submission of the application. This can be done by the lawyer that represents the investor. And there is a pre-validation online. Once we get this pre-validation, we can move forward to the appointment in the, the, the immigration office to collect the biometric. This implies that the investment and the investor and the family, if applicable, come to Portugal and go to the immigration office to submit the document and the data. Then we will, it depends on the, on the workflow of the immigration office, we will obtain the residency permit that will be valid for two years. And between these two years, the investor, the investor shall be in Portugal for 14 days, consecutive or not. And at the end of the, the validity of the residency card, the family and the, invest, the investor shall return to Portugal in order to renew the golden visa. 
So I, I, sorry, I have here the timeline of the golden visa. So first of all, the, re the, the residency permit is valid for two years. Then it is mandatory, a minimum stay of 40 days in Portugal. And then we have the first residency permit renewal. We need, at this time, we need to show that we maintain the investment. And if at this time, for example, in this case, if the final deed is not yet signed because the, the, the enterprise is not yet concluded, there is no problem as we can prove the investment throughout the promissory contract, as well as the, the, the property documents that I did not refer because it's more technical more legal technique, but there are the, the conservatory and the tax authorities documents that will allow the investor to prove that he has the promise to, to buy the, 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 the accumulation unit. And that document serves the immigration office to prove that we have a complete investment. Then we have a second residency permit valid for two years and another minimum stay at state of 14 days in Portugal in order to make to, to obtain a new residency card again valid for two years. So we obtain the second residency uh, card and move forward to the second renewal. And at this time, the same, the same process applies. The investor and the family must come to Portugal to renew the, the golden visa and to prove that the, the, the investment is still in place, that he still owns the property. And then we will have the third residency permit valid again for two years, the mandatory 14 days of stays. And at the end of the five years, the, the first the, since the five years of the first residency permit, the investor will be eligible to apply for the permanent residency or to the citizenship, or if uh, for these two type of uh, application, he needs to have the Portuguese test. So if does not apply, he can renew the golden visa uh, one again, once again, third for as many times as he needs. So this briefly is the is the golden visa process, and how the the Casas Vivas qualified for the real estate acquired property type of investment that has the minimum of five hundred thousand, but due to the loca the excellent location of Sabrosa, it will be able to receive a reduction of twenty percent in the price set by the the law that applies for the golden visa. I don't know if you have any questions. I can I can give you more details related to the golden visa if you need, like the question that was made. I have uh, more information that can be used and can be useful. If you make any questions, I'm available. Thank you, Joana. I, I'm just going to to share like the what we have here. I think there's a question here. Um, the the fees they are asking the fees that uh, are charged for the GRP processing. Uh, what is GRP? I'm not sure. What is that? Let, let me just check. For the GR, uh, uh, the golden visa. Yeah. Uh, let me just. Because there was a recent alteration, but let me just. Uh, I believe I have that document in here. But I can give you rough uh, rough values, okay? So we will have the uh, five thousand per uh, for the investor, okay? Five thousand euros, euros. E euros, exactly. But, uh, let me just. If you just give me, a, I don't know if you have that information. Um, uh, of what? Sorry, the the fees. Uh -huh. Let, uh, I have it in Portuguese, but I can I can share it. But you can share. That's okay. fine. Okay, I will just share it and I will translate. Okay. So I have here. This is the the 
the immigration information, okay? So we have here, let me just, we have here. So um, this is, this this value here, 533 euros, this, this is for the online application. So once we do the online application at the platform of the immigration office, we pay this amount for each member. So this amount for the investment, for the investor, as well for the family members. Then this amount, 500, uh, sorry, 5,336 euros, for the issue of the um, the residency permit for investment. So this value also applies for each uh, family member. So uh, roughly uh, 5,000 for the investor and for each family member. Then for the renewal of the golden visa, it's 50% of this value. So the, re the renewal of the residency permit for investment, we have, 2,668 euros and 20 cents, okay? Uh, here uh, we have the same amount, so five, uh, 5,336 and 40, 40 cents for uh, the uh, authorization for uh, family members. As I, re I was referring, the same, the, same, um, the same amount applies to the investment, to the investor and to the family members. Here in the for the renewal of the uh, family members, the same as applies for the investor. So this is this, to, just to give you uh, within the timeline. This is in the uh, online application. This is when the investor uh, receives the card. Okay. This will be when the investor and the family members return to Portugal at the end of the validity of the residency card in order to uh, apply for the renewal uh, at the immigration office. So this is the main taxes that applies for the golden visa. I hope it clarified. If you have any doubts, I can... Uh, thank you, um, Joana. I, I, I think then for the follow-up, uh, Bambin, I'm not sure how we'll... Should I, we, should I share here my, my, my email and then the people... Share your email and of course um, our members can, will get in touch with us if they have any other questions. And um, did you... There was a question about the yield, uh, Louis. Did you... Yes, did you I, I've tried to reply. Um, they, 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 so the, the question was if they, the yield was guaranteed. The, the yield is not guaranteed. The yield is estimated, is an estimated yield and is based on the revenue generated by the accumulation. Uh, by the accumulation. So uh, we uh, work under a conservative scenario. We are, you know, as you may know, the, the, most, uh, the two most important variables in, in hospitality are occupation rate and price per room. So we are working with a conservative model. So we are expecting to pay above 4%, but uh, it is what we are estimating to pay. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you touched on this earlier, but um, there are people. Uh, uh, one of the concerns that people have about the, the golden visa is the Portuguese language test, right? Mm -hmm. It has so, a requirement. Uh, the Portuguese test is a required for the um, citizenship and the permanent uh, residency. So the golden visa, there are no uh, Portuguese tests required. But once you decide to apply for the citizenship or for the, the PR, the permanent residency, there is, a, uh, there is a requirement. The test is the A2 level, is a basic level. Um, it uh, for the for my experience, and I have uh, clients that have uh, completed the um, the test. Uh, it's not it's a basic level. It's it's not it's not difficult. Uh, there is also uh, a few uh, examples of the exams online that you can try, of course, and then that you can see how how it is and to 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 see that it's not it's not difficult, but. It's it's a it's a requirement to apply for the citizenship citizenship sorry and the PR. And once you have uh, you put uh, you know you've 
you decided to purchase um, the property and you get the ball rolling and you apply for the Schengen visa, how long are you given? How long would the Philippines? Oh. Since you complete the investment, yeah. since you complete the investment um, until you receive the patch. No, no. What I mean is, they'll obviously want to go and visit Portugal to see to see the property, maybe while uh -huh. it's still being developed and all that. They can apply for a Schengen visa based on the intent to purchase, or if they put a down payment or something, if they, if they make the initial payment. And how long will that visa be for? I'm not sure how long the Schengen visas are granted for at this point. How, how, how I, I believe it, I believe it, it, there are a few, uh, different type of visa. Do you have the, the tourism visa that, if I'm not mistaken, it's three months. I believe it's three months um, with multiple entries, so you can uh, get in, get out, get in, get out in the Schengen area. But you can uh, uh, anytime you can. Uh, it's not renew, you can add a period to the visa. So it allows to stay three months, then another three months. But depending on the, the reasons that why you are you asking the, the visa, the, the Schengen visa, I believe it can be uh, avail it can be longer than three months, okay? But it really depends on the embassy that that because the, the Schengen this the Schengen visa that allows you to to travel to any Schengen country is is issued by the for uh, for the is issued by an embassy. It can be a Portuguese embassy or any other um, European uh, embassy. Bambina, uh, allow me to to share here the this um, the um, sorry, just one second, the document with the. Uh, uh, excuse me, yeah, it's here. Uh, so I, I have here the price list with uh, uh, of the, the units that are available. Um, you know, we have here the, the size, we have starting in 67 square meters till uh, 93. Uh, with the different prices starting in 400 till uh, 1.25 million euros, uh, with estimated yield that is the same for all the units, and then the annual stayings in uh, these eight units it's uh, 40 nights, and then for the big villa it's 30 nights. Um, if um, the the uh, the people are willing to stay like. Uh, 30 nights per year, we can negotiate in terms of uh, the increase of the price or decrease in the yield. It's something that we can, do, but up to 30 nights on the on the lofts and then for the villa can go up to uh, 60 nights um, uh, with the difference of price. But this is the standard model that we have. Um, and um, um, we uh, we just signed it uh, with a, uh, one of the top, if not the, the best, uh, real estate agency in New York, uh, an exclusivity contract for the United States uh, that you know that allows, shows that you know that is a world class project, and uh, we believe that uh, pretty soon we'll have the unit sold. We sold the, the, the first one to the uh, uh, engineer from Google, an American citizen, um, and uh, you know uh, that he, he understands the. He, he, is a wine lover. Is a he likes this uh, li lifestyle that you we will have there, you know, and uh, uh, a nice neighbor to have with us. Um, yes, so it's I think it's basically what Casas Vivas is, is all about. We have also a website that is uh, here in the. Uh, this is the is the website is casasvivas.com. Um, and this is the village of Provzend, where you have the property, and the property is this red uh, area here that is in the uh, facing south, with uh, in the heart of the Dorwan region. Yeah. Beautiful, um, Claire. Can I ask you how many units are available? Again, do you mind repeating? Uh, eight units available. Eight units and. Obviously, you're marketing this all around, all over the world, right? 
Uh, and not uh, you know we have we have been taking care with uh, with with our with we are promoting it we are just in the United States and the rest is you know uh, uh, word by mouth it's uh, it's um, we want to to keep it as exclusive as possible yeah uh, because as you said Claire that's the mark of luxury obviously the rarity and the exclusivity right exactly so you're, you're, Oh, can I speak? And, okay. Um, Joanna, yeah. And I think this is. Oh yes, go ahead. Ones, um, I think this is. We, we we actually turned down some 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 people, because this is in our neighbors, in front and the back are the leading winemakers, right? And I think this uh, of the region, and um, they're also um, um, basically um, uh, investing in in Provisend, sending the traffic from their Quinta Quinta de Bonfim, which is one of the top um if you if you look it up it is um an amazing beautiful wine tasting and restaurants um and so this is really about living a lifestyle right this is not about um that happens to qualify for golden visa i want to really stress that point because there are so many properties being built in other regions and uh, around portugal and indeed in other countries that are just for golden visa right and um, and there and and this is the thing is that this was um, a project started years ago before um, the pandemic. It took three years alone to get the license. You know, we were working with the top. We're working with the best architect who designed museums. Camilo Ribello is award winning. He is a professor also at Politecnico in Milano, also in Shanghai University. Um, Joanna Stoffi works for Hermes. She is the top interior for um, for restaurants and, and 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 public spaces. She also did interiors for other museums. Right. Um, uh, the door region in itself. Um, you know why is six senses um, the top performing in portfolio because there is 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 not enough um, luxury accommodations in my mind there's only two really um, uh, currently standing six senses and then vintage house we are um, um, uh, you know basically in the heart in the best region there is no other land to buy right this is a key point <laughs> you know that is the rarity right if you go to other regions um you know it is not a a a, a closed unesco region so this was a development started as a real estate development that now happens to be qualified also for golden visa. And um, this is why we're working with um, um, also the top design. Um, the property is turnkey. So what you pay includes also uh, what's inside, right? And, and I think this then becomes um, um, very, very, very interesting because then um, after you obtain the golden visa, you can resell the unit, right? Um, and that resale value will only go up because there are no other places to, to, to buy in terms of property in the heart, right? Um, and then, you know, the, the barriers of entry in terms of getting the licensing, going through all this process, um, um, you know, uh, Camilla Camilla Ribello is 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 um, very well respected by having done this this incredible museum in Dura Valley, and and so we work very very well with the region, and we are the only one that's been licensed, by the way, right? Um, because they see the incredible value, uh, we are bringing value to the region. We're doing something to bring um, high end tourism in, right? So I think this is so this is why it's not about showing to everyone, but showing to the people who share those values, um, enjoy the lifestyle, and also would like a golden visa. So in this 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 type of um, positioning, I think we are a standout um, in a market where there's, you know, uh, uh, you know, 
blocks and blocks being built, uh, blocks and blocks, but you know, who's actually going to live it in afterwards? Who are you going to sell it to afterwards? Who are you going to rent it to afterwards, right? Um, so I think this is what's really special about this. And, um, you know, as someone who, who traveled around the world, we went to Napa Valley, we went to, you know, all over Italy. Right, 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 right. We, this is, um, this, this is really very, very special, right? So um, I hope you can all come visit. Now, now, now things are much easier to, to travel. And just to give you a reference, I mean, this season now, um, six census used to be in the past 500 stand, like about 400, 500 US, uh, euros, a uh, uh, kind of a, a a doubled, you know, nice, nice room, right? Not the top, but standard room. Now it's more than a thousand. <laughs> so, so we based our projections on the old, old numbers, right? Uh, and so I think it's, it's, it's very reason you just go on six senses, try to book a room, I, you know, you're going to see it sold out, right? So I think that becomes quite, quite interesting. Um, because the concept um, also, you know, be, being being Asian, is that we wanted to have family and friends, right? So in the sense that if you own a property, right there, and you want to host all your friends there, you can book it, right? You can book it and then you can invite everyone, right? So it's kind of that flexibility, right? This is why we left one villa, right? And again, this is about doing a luxury property. You know, uh, we left that villa instead of transforming into selling a few more golden visas because that is really about, you know, um, uh, enabling this multi-use and having this, uh, uh, um, you know, that was really meant for people with families, right? We can have private chefs, um, drivers, a lot of things, right? So I think that becomes quite, quite, quite interesting in how we design this property is really for that, for that, 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 you know, specialized personalized lifestyle. And I don't think you'll see this in, in, in other um, Golden Visa um, uh, investments um, um, that's being offered in the market, right? And I think one final point, uh, some of my own insights I wanted to share um, with you all, as, as um, Asians were also, you know, education is very important for our children. And one of the very interesting things about, about about Portugal getting um, uh, uh, um, this is that um, Portugal has um, uh, some leading universities now, um, especially business school, University Nova, that's teaching all the classes in English, right? And so um, uh, this enables then if, if, if you go on to get your passport, then your children to, to be able to enjoy um, studying all over Europe at schools and universities at at you know a very good price compared to let's say the U.S. or or that has very very high tuitions right now, um, or or the U.K. So it's just something that where you're getting um, an a value a value beyond let's say um, uh, a new place to 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 potentially call home right is that there are other other you know I think as someone foreign that's also uh, um, lived here now. Excellent health care, right? <laughs> Very reasonable health uh, health cares. These are the things that that you know um, um, the full big picture. I, I wanted to to share with you is that it's one of the best health care systems in the world, and um, uh, um, these little details matter in the big picture. And um, I think I think this is why it's become also a hot destination for for everyone around the world as well. Uh, Bambina, is there? Do you think there? there should we ask if there are f further questions? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, um, doesn't there doesn't appear to be any more questions. I think they, you all know, of course, that you can get in touch with me or um, directly with uh, Roy at his email is right there, or um, yeah. you can contact us at Manila House, which is uh, events at Manila House if you have further questions. If you'd like a copy of the brochure as well, right? We could always send that to you. Um, you know, we can okay. email next to you. Yeah. No, I think Claire, you brought up some really great considerations there. Um, and I think before we close, I have one more question. Do you nest if can you purchase a un um a unit there, a prop property without necessarily needing a golden visa? Are foreigners allowed to invest? Yes, absolutely. Um, not necessarily asking for um, golden residency. And my other question is, how 
likely is the government going to change its mind about this scheme because obviously like in with the russian war with the war now in the ukraine um certain countries have closed yes yes we yes i the the joanna can tell you something what i hold so, where I heard some rumors that uh, looks like that the uh, European Union uh, wants to change it like in 2025, like to make it uh, uh, maybe to still keep this golden visa program, but uh, only through the investment in the real economy, in, in companies, I would say. Um, yeah. Nowadays... Yes, Sorry, I, I believe it... Nowadays, it's, it's just like rumors because uh, in the beginning of this year, we had a change in the, in the program. Um, it was related uh, to the property acquisition investment. So it limit, limited the, the acquisition for habitation purpose. So you cannot um, acquire a property for a residency purpose in Lisbon and in Porto. You need to acquire it outside of this of this of this location, this this was uh, the most recent um, change, and it it was due internal uh, it was due due to internal uh, discussion, not uh, European European. So I believe that um, the and this this change was discussed uh, I, I, probably for two years. Uh, I, I believe the the the, the rumor starts like four or uh, three or four years ago, and then only came in force in the beginning of this year because <clears throat> the change in the law, it, it, it depends on the, um, on the a diligent uh, process. So I believe it will not uh, happen in the, in the nearby future. And uh, um, even if it does, it does not affect the the prior uh, investors so <clears throat> the law only applies to the future not to the prior investment so in case if uh, an investor decides to apply today in this or in any other uh, property even if the law changes in the future this investment is is kept the, there is no no way that the law affects a prior investment this happened this year with the change the prior investments are uh, completely safe great no these are all very good to know and i'm sure um there's a lot of interest from our members and thank you again to everyone who joined us today thank you roy claire and joanna um and thank you to our attendees um again if you have any questions please you can reach us directly or you can um reach out to roy who's, who's um Email appears in the chat. It's roy.morais at cblibea.com. Yeah. Um, and thank you for introducing us to Casas Vivas. It looks absolutely stunning. Um, next time, can you show us a rendition and like a, <laughs> what a sample unit might look like? <laughs> the spa. Yeah, so we'll, I mean, so I we'll, we'll have some, uh, the images of the interiors. And yeah. From there's there's, there's there's one last point I wanted to 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 add on, um, and I think it's really about um, the the atmosphere in Portugal right now, which is super exciting, right? Um, people who are who are European um, Europeans, um, a lot of French are moving here as well due to the to, to, due to the tax regime. And this is something that we didn't discuss: is the beneficial tax regimes, right? So, for um, a lower tax for foreigners for ten years, and um, so European, uh, we have, for example, Philippe Stark. You know, the designer is now living um, in Portugal. Um, Christian Laboutin, so all the ladies in who love fashion, Christian lives in, in Lisbon right now, right? Um, there's people moving from all over the world to, to, to Portugal. So it's really the new hot place and, and these people are living here. Um, and I think that becomes really exciting in terms of, of community and, and the quality of the people and the new friendships you'll make by visiting here. And also, yeah. 
um, the increased, I would say, domestic tourism, you know, to Doro, um, everything's sold out in this country right now. It's incredible, right? Um, we had, um, just, um, you know, uh, Jeff Bezos came, um, you know, Elon Musk came in, in the last month. So it's really becoming a, 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 a very interesting place. Yeah, and okay. it's not a trend, it's because it is, it's safe. <laughs> And right, um, and it's becoming a very exciting new hub, let's say. Yeah. Well, all the more reason to go, right? Yes. Yeah, and and also you were saying it's a UNESCO um, heritage site, so it is. construction around the area is very limited, very strict yes. guidelines to follow, very difficult to get permits. So the guarantee of privacy and kind of exclusivity will be there, you know, for very yes. long time. Right. It fits on the, on the you know, uh, the, the concept that uh, Manila House has behind too. So I think it's more or less the same, yeah. very, yeah. a good match. Very much so. So thank you for sharing all of that with us today. And thank you again for everyone for joining us. You'll find this talk, a video of the talk up on YouTube in a couple of days. Um, and also if you're a member, you know, the firm members, you know, you'll get it in your WhatsApp or your, um, or um, in your email. So okay. thank you once again. Have a good evening, everybody. Um, enjoy the rest of your day for you in Portugal. Thank you for waking up early to join us today. Uh, and it was a pleasure. To welcome you back to Asia when you decide to, to come back to this part of the world. Yes. yes. Love to do that. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.